How's it going guys? I'm um, just shooting a quick video for Wonder Dave. He asked me on Instagram how I can do, you know, sort of half half full uh, vials or glass bottles. Sorry if I keep uh, bumping the camera here. Let me just try and study that real quick. Alright, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run through you know, a basic sort of pattern you can use. You can see I've already done a few of the other ones. They're not fantastic, but... Um, they don't need to be super high level um, for this particular model, so um, here we go. So I'm just starting off over black, just using a, um, a coal black, and that's a P3 coal black, just to give it some color. From here, I'm just going to get a little bit of a, take a bit of that coal black, and I'm going to mix it with some Warplock green. So it's just some GW Warplock green. I'm going to start building up uh, the green. So uh, we're going to leave it half empty. So basically, all you all you really got to do is sort of judge where you kind of want to fill it up to. So. Um, we'll just fill it up to here. So you just make a line, essentially where you want to fill it up to. Now I'm just going to go with more of a, um, I'm just going to continue using that warp lock green, but this time I'm not going to add any uh, coal black to it. And we'll just continue to build up that color. And then just adding some GW Moot Green to it, and we're going to blend that back in in a second. But we're just making a line here to make a sort of a clear distinction as to where you know, this, this uh, vial here is full up to.
Then I'm just going to add a little bit of white to that moot green. We're just going to create a um, just a very light green line just around the edge here, just to sort of mark it off a bit more. Now what I'm going to do is just to uh, help blend the green back into the, the darker surrounding. I'm just going to get some watered down uh, coal black. I'm just going to begin just washing just very thin coats in there like that to um, kind of blend it back in. Cool. So, now that we've got that bit done, we're going to um, uh, try and do a little effect on the top and make it look a bit like glass. So, I'm just going to get some uh, Space Wolves Grey. That's GW Space Wolves Grey. Um, or, you know, another, if you've got P3 paints, it's probably closer to like a Frostbite or something like that. And I'm just going to make a little 50-50... You know, mix with a uh, coal black just some thin down just a thin down uh, version and just going to start adding it to the top here now, I'm not super worried about um, how cleanly it comes out to begin with because what I'll do is I'll actually do what I do with the bottom half and I'll I'll wash back into it with um with some coal black and I'll and I'll blend it back in. <clears throat> yes, this is not the only way that you can do um, glass, but uh, that's just what I'm doing. This one, uh, you basically follow a similar process for for everything. You just change the colors and and so forth. And wash that back a bit more and then just come back in a little bit more Space Wolves Grey and just kind of blend in the top here. Um, so you can see there you know, it looks you know, kind of half decent. Now what we're actually going to do is um, the trick with you know, any kind of glass surface or, or shiny surface, like if you've got gems or something like that, um, what you're actually going to want to do is just add a couple points of light um, that transcend, trans, I don't know if that's the right word, but um, will cross over all parts of the uh, shading. So at the moment, this looks like distinct parts. Uh, but what we actually want to do is we actually want to just put a couple points of light we just want to drop that light shine down like that. And then it just adds that, that glassy effect. It look, makes it look like there's a, um, it's just something outside the glass that's, um, that it's got it contained in. So there you go. Uh, that's just a very quick tutorial um, on the fly on how you can do um, you yeah, know, half empty sort of vial effects. Cool.